Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave, uh, Dave's World. Welcome to my world. It's a, it's a, a week before Christmas in... Yeah. Anyway, it's a week before Christmas for all you people out there nationwide. This is uh, far and wide. It doesn't, make, it doesn't go through uh, Canada or the United States. It goes through a lot of places. Uh, Maryland, Switzerland to be exact. Or uh, CERN is. And NASA, or Florida is. So, it's far and wide. Uh, so, Christmas goes all, uh, all year round. <laughs> all year round. Yeah, I wish it was, really. But, no, we have it uh, almost at 12 months. Why Why 12 months in the calendar? I wish it would, they would narrow it down to 10 months, not 12 months. Uh, someone, oh, one of these days will have to get a petition and say we need to have the calendar be 10 months. Not, uh, uh, not, you know, 10 months, not 12 months. I wish they could put it down to about 10. 10 is not, oh, uh, 10 always good than 12. Um, so, like I said, folks, one of these days, uh, these leaders around the world are going to get a petition to have the calendar restructured, as they say, restructured, and have it, uh, uh 10 months, not 12 months. It's pathetic, in the less. <laughs> Okay, I uh, wish you were like that. Imagine having ten months instead of twelve months. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, nonetheless, uh, the only way the calendars can get changed is if you put out a petition and uh, get the votes out there to have the calendar years change to set twelve, ten, and then you have to wait ten months for the next Christmas. Imagine that, just ten months before Christmas time. Isn't that nice? It'll be a lot shorter than 12 months than New Year's show calendars. Um, uh, I would love to see any leader around this world get a petition going with the calendars. I really appreciate that. I really do. Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, until until that happens, I'll keep doing what I do best, right? Keep doing, uh, g uh, giving you the best podcast out there to the best, uh, uh, the views I'm going to give you guys out there. Now, I've, I've seen videos on uh, urban exploring. This is urban exploring. Now, it doesn't mean uh, you have to listen to politicians out there every single day, every single week of the week. You got, you got uh, all politicians. It uh, doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or uh, <laughs> opposition to the Democrat. Um, it doesn't mean anybody, anybody can uh, go urban exploring, take a camera and do urban exploring. Uh, the way you go about it is just go look for any lo uh, odd locations in the world. Odd locations. Just look for odd locations. That's what I'm saying. Uh, odd locations that you haven't been before and go urban exploring. That's the only way I can uh, describe it as. Uh, and take a vlog camera. Take a vlog camera and go exploring. Just, uh, you know... Uh, you know, like push the envelope, go explore the stuff that you haven't seen before, that people uh, that haven't been seen before. I mean, stuff that are out there that hasn't been uh, traveled, seen, or even heard of. Uh, so go out there, expand your horizons, as they would say, expand your horizons. Go outside your field and go urban exploring, and that's what it means. It means urban exploring. Go exploring somewhere that you haven't been before and really explore it full tilt. And I mean full tilt. Uh, take your vlog camera, narrate the damn thing uh, and, and as you go along. Go, uh, as you go along on your uh, adventure in your uh, adventure, you say, uh, say, to your, uh, say to your fans out there, I want to go urban explore. I want to take my vlog camera and just explore the world that the way it is. This stuff that hasn't been seen before in the public. Uh, that needs to be seen. Like, for instance, I'll give you an example. Remember that movie called the um, uh, Indiana Jones or, uh, or this uh, first uh, film? Well, that's a real thing, okay? That is the real thing. The Art of the Covenant. Now, people swore up and down that the Art of the Covenant is the real deal. Uh, uh, that uh, this is no no biblical thing. It's not in films. No, no, they just didn't made it up and say, "Hey, this is the art of government and holds power to the world." No, uh, but that is movie. Uh, <laughs> but in the real world, as we go along in this world today, 
Um, there is such thing as the art of the covenant. Now, uh, apparently, people uh, suggested that this thing is very powerful. Very powerful. It's like uh, free power in the world. Um, it's godlike power. Um, they describe many reasons, but apparently, you can't open up this art of the covenant. It's very powerful. Just like the film itself, it does mean that. Uh, so be very careful when you're moving this thing. Uh, uh, the art of the covenant has to do with the world. They don't want they don't want people to open this thing up uh, because it's power that it has. Uh, it's not just uh, it's just not just uh, the president of the United States that holds power to the uh, uh, this, uh, <laughs> the White House. It's not that. There's things around the world that are more powerful than the president of the United States. This is being. This is kind of like being the uh, art of the government. It's the real deal, uh, as the uh, movie suggested. Uh, uh, so there is such a thing, the real deal. Uh, the movie sometimes make it so real that you think there's such thing as that. And well, there is. The art of the government is somewhere, somewhere out there that people are looking for it. And people are, I don't know if they found it yet or not. Um, they moved this thing to uh, different countries, different uh, cities. Uh, people don't even know where this is. Uh, but it's shown in biblical times. They call it the biblical times. Uh, this is just like, uh, this is like God-like thing. Uh, it has uh, angels cover, uh, holding it. Um, I don't know how to describe it as. It's kind of like a, a big treasure chest. And it doesn't want to be open kind of thing. Uh, it holds very much powerful stuff than uh, the President of the United States. These leaders around the world have some kind of power, but not power that you would think. But uh, there is power out there, but you just have to find it, as they say. But the art of the covenant is that thing, but you're not supposed to open it, because it's very powerful inside the thing. So, yeah, people have seen this thing in real life. Uh, so, uh, uh, the archaeologists, they call the archaeologist people in the world, know where this thing is. It's, it, it's in our world, and uh, they don't want people opening this thing up. It's very powerful. So, a, as the movie suggested, be very wary, very, very careful. People got killed over this. Uh, so, just remember this. Be, uh, I, I caution, uh, like I always say to people, be very cautious uh, when you're moving this thing. Uh, the art of the company is the real deal. Uh, with biblical people out there, they mention what they described it as. Uh, and uh, it has wings on top of it. It has like uh, I don't know how you describe it as. Uh, it's like a it's like a chest. Uh, it's like a, a wooden chest that uh, a big humongous chest and and <laughs> and uh, it just want to be open. It's for uh, for power reasons. It's for the world to know a few thousand years from now. So there you go, folks. The art of the covenant is definitely real. If you're thinking about that, uh, you go ask a scientist. Go ask a, uh, a scientist person. Go ask a, a ecologist person. They would describe it as as very biblical, very biblical in nature. So uh, that's how I'm describing it as, folks. Uh, like I said, when they show on films, these are the real deal. This is the real deal. Now, people have uh, researched this stuff. Uh, the Art of the Covenant is somewhere in around this world. I don't know if they found it yet, uh, but uh, it's 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 the real deal, folks. But uh, it cautious you. So it's not just the President of the United States. It's not just uh, uh, Premier Doug Ford. No, it's not Premier Doug Ford. If you see him every day, uh, talk about this coronavirus thing. I want to talk about biblical stuff out there. The things that people don't want to be see uh, see this stuff in our realm, uh, our world. There's stuff that people haven't seen out in the public. I kid you not. Uh, so I'm here doing a podcast, giving you the information that you want to hear about and listen to and see at the same time. Uh, so it's about hearing and believing, or hearing and believing and seeing it at the same time. So there you go, folks. I will see you on the next podcast. Until then, I say to everybody, ciao for now.